queen enthroned above, O Maria, hail mother of mercy and of love, O Maria, triumph all ye cherubim, sing with us ye seraphim, heaven and earth resound the hymn, salve, 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 Regina. Our life, our sweetness here below, O Maria, our hope in sorrow and in woe, O Maria, and when full ye cherubim sing with us, ye seraphim. Heaven and earth resound the hymn. Salve, 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 Regina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, we gather in this very sacred place where God, in his mercy, manifested his glory through the apparitions of our Blessed Mother, knowledgeable of the information, the catechesis, and the great love of God transmitted through our Mother, we gather to worship in this place, calling to mind the very legacy and instruction that we are called to live by. I'd like to take a moment and express a wonderful and hospitable welcome to a brother that I just met, Father Patrick Summerhays, from the Diocese of San Francisco, who joins us for this liturgy. With joy in our hearts in the celebration, let us prepare ourselves inwardly by recognizing our sins and being so disposed to celebrate this liturgy worthily and well. To resent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, who is to see for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body, and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne, you see this city? Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. 
They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. The word of the Lord. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings. Since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees, you are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved, standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then, he, then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm very humbled to be here and the presider for this liturgy and very grateful to God.
to honor the Blessed Virgin Mary in this place, for me personally, is one that roots deep down to the depths of my identity. This is the place my grandfather came when serving in the military and the Navy, just after the Basilica was constructed. But even more deeply and more profound in my heart, after being ordained on May 18th, the birthday of St. John Paul II, to come to this place where he attributed his salvation from death on the assassination attempt to the hand of the Blessed Virgin Mary who guided the bullet, and to be so dedicated in my identity as a priest and vocation through his intercession and his example, and most especially his prayers, to be here today as the pastor of St. John Paul II in Ponte Vedra, Florida, in the United States, I am deeply and profoundly humbled. Today we celebrate this Mass for your intentions. And my intention is for the parish community of St. John Paul II. Dedicating our hearts to the Blessed Mother and consecrating them to her in this place is so appropriate. Fulfilling what she calls us to, instructed by the seers, by the children, Francisco, Jacinta, and Lucia. These great saintly, beautiful, pure-hearted people who have shared transparently as open instruments what Mary has instructed us to do, we are called to revive this consecration and to fulfill this vocation that each of us have. The church describes it as the universal call, the universal vocation to holiness. We can only fulfill this call by the help of God, right? We can only fulfill that call by God's mercy. And it is God's mercy that provided to us this apparition, leading us into the 20th century and most surely can be applied to our time today. Hearing the first reading, a reading from the book of Revelation, Apocalypse. I'm reminded of the movie, The Passion of the Christ. You remember that, right? Drawing from this scriptural account from Revelation, Mel Gibson, the director of this movie, had Mary draw close to Jesus on the way to Calvary. Do you remember that scene? When Jesus is carrying his cross ridden with so much pain and suffering, carrying the weight of human sin, knowledgeable of his action, he goes toward Golgotha. And Mary, in her motherly heart, draws close to Christ. And one of the most deeply moving scenes in that movie depicting the passion, Jesus said to her, Behold, Mother, I make all things new. He looks deep within her eyes, knowledgeable of what this scripture reference indicates. So I ask you pilgrims, is this not what is happening in our lives? Journeying through Portugal? Is this not what has happened in the churches that we have visited, in the sacred places that we have walked? Do, are we not experiencing the very renovation of spirit and heart? As the sun is breaching the horizon over here and setting, light is flooding this chapel, a place of remembrance of light from light, that the glory of God was revealed here. And at times, the world can be so dark. Our own personal sinfulness, our own loss, our own pain, our grief. These realities can blind us, and we can forget the light. But my brothers and sisters, as baptized children of God, 
Each of you are named children of light. And there is no darkness that can take that away. For the light is what drives away the darkness, and it has been given to you in baptism. And a promise has been stated over you. Beyond that of man, God has stated something over your life. And God is always faithful. Even if your faithfulness struggles, God's faithfulness endures forever. And his fidelity will be seen in your testimony. Because what he does for us on pilgrimage, what he does for us today, is reveal his light and renew our hearts. Behold, I make all things new. If we are to look into the world and see how dark it is, and gossip about it, and talk about it, and complain about it, but not do anything about it, we should be silent. But if we can see the transformation in our own lives on this walk with Christ and Our Lady, what we are given, we are responsible to extend. If God means to give us peace, renewal, and light, we must be commissioned from this place with peace, renewal, and light. And we must go out into a hopeless world, a world without peace. We must go out into a dark world, confident with hope to bring the light that we receive. My friends, as we join our hearts at this most solemn altar, accompanied by God's most beautiful creation in this land of Portugal, what a wonderful moment to have the sun shine on a day that has been darkened by clouds and rain. Did we not get a foretaste of that at the well? Did we not get a foretaste of that on the hill of the apparition of the angel? Yet there is more light to come. Light from light. True God from true God. The new Jerusalem that we hear in Apocalypse today, what we get dim glimpses of and foretaste of in this world, like this very moment, that is what our heart truly longs for, huh? So let us orient ourselves towards salvation and strive in Christ, by his mercy, to fulfill what has been charged over us through the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima, to the praise and glory of God the Father. Amen. Here at this sacred spot where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers and our petitions to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his Son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord for those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, 
that they be attentive to the word of God. Love it and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did. We pray to the Lord. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world. We pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, counselor of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life. We pray to the Lord. For all of us here present and for our families, for our nation, that they, by the intercession of Mary, whose seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Let us take a moment and remember all the intentions that we have brought to this place, the intentions upon the altar and here in the sanctuary. God of infinite goodness, attentive to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, Listen to our pleas and increase our faith and respond to our prayers and supplications according to your will through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our offertory song is Sing of Mary. Number eight in the booklets. Sing of Mary, pure and lowly, virgin mother, undefiled. Sing of God's own Son, most holy, who became her. Child, fairest child of fairest mother, God the Lord who came to earth, word made flesh, our very brother, takes our nature by his birth. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this memorial of Our Lady of Fatima, the Blessed Ever Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, 
dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate <clears throat> the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. <clears throat> look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. <coughs> Christ. <coughs> may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, <coughs> with blessed Joseph, her spouse, <clears throat> with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and the bishop of this place, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Let us recall all of those whom we love 
that have passed away. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other a sign of peace. mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, iserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be my but only say the word.
He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Let us pray. Having been made partakers of eternal redemption, we pray, O Lord, that we who commemorate the mother of your Son may glory in the fullness of your grace and experience its continued increase for our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our sending forth song is Immaculate Mary, number 15 in the booklets. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in splendor. 